Welcome to the Product Design Show. On the track, NASCARs can go up to 212 miles per hour, and their redesigns can seem just as fast. I'm Vince Penman. And I'm Allison Tupperwein. In today's episode, we'll show you how a tight redesign deadline created some design challenges for the Penske Racing Team. We spoke with Drew Kessler, design office manager at Penske Racing South, about the challenge his team faced when NASCAR came out with some new rules to make racing more exciting. The rules were about drafting, a technique used in racing where multiple cars follow one another close together to cut down on wind resistance. Drafting allows multiple cars to move faster than a single car. As a car moves forward, it punches a hole in the wind. When a second car moves into an aligned position behind the first car, it no longer faces oncoming wind resistance because the first car has created a slipstream. Yeah, exactly like the traffic on my daily commute. This technique has been used by NASCAR drivers for years. While drafting, a car can gain an extra three mile an hour advantage, a significant difference when you think about how tight most races are at the finish line. So most racing teams began to adopt a standard two car drafting formation on the track. Even though drafting allowed cars to go faster, NASCAR felt that too much drafting made the races less interesting for the fans. To get back to a more active style of racing, NASCAR handed down a rule change reducing each car's radiator volume, grill size, and positioning. The goal of this change was to reduce the amount of drafting by making it more difficult for each car to cool its engine. When a car enters into the slipstream of a draft, less air is being forced through its grill. With less air to cool the fluid in the radiator, the temperature of the engine can soar, leading to engine failure. NASCAR reduced the radiator size for its cars to two gallons, effectively limiting drafting for all cars on the track. To make matters even more difficult, this rule change came out on January 10th and was to be in place by Daytona only a few weeks later. Teams had to completely redesign their radiator systems to be ready for their next Speedway race. As Drew pointed out, race teams can't delay their product launch. The race happens on Sunday, whether you are ready or not. So redesigns have to be done fast. The Penske team began their redesign by modeling the volume of water that their radiator could hold. This novel technique immediately gave the team a good idea of the container size constraints they would face. With the core aluminum shape of the radiator decided, the Penske team began modeling the new features that would tie the new radiator in with the body. Drew's team took advantage of the fact that the new radiator was significantly smaller than the previous model by moving the radiator forward and tilting it to maximize its efficiency. Creo Parametric was critical to the team's effort to quickly model and assemble their new radiators, reducing what could have been weeks of redesign work to a few days. You can see Creo Parametric, the same software that Penske Racing South used to redesign their radiators and grills at ptc.com slash go slash Creo Parametric. If you like this show, please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.